Hello everyone, welcome back to CryptoTweaks.com Cryptcore Scientific Files for Bankruptcy, Chapter 11 This is the main news of the day In this video we are going to cover this and other latest news about the crypto world So stay with us and let's dive in So let's talk about the main news of the day, core scientific files for bankruptcy, it's crypto winter bites. So for who doesn't know about this company, core scientific is a biggest publicity trader cryptocurrency mining company in the United States. Along with others is involved in the cryptocurrency mining. And today the main news that it filled for chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. This is the mm, this is a terrible news for the sector because it's the result of a, a tragic year for all the crypto firms because more than a trillion in value has been wiped out from the crypto sector this year because of rising interest rates and worries about economic downturn. I would add especially that crisis of FTX had several several impact on this sector. So uh, declining companies operating performance liquidity was the reasons of this bankruptcy feeling and uh, it lost roughly 98% of its value since 2022. It's clear, we can see it from this chart, this chart if the core scientific uh, value since its quotation which was in uh, April the 22 in uh, 2021, since we can say since uh, December basically the end of November 2021 it lost 99% of its value in just one year basically that's the result of this crisis we have been through this sector has been through because of economic downturn rising interest rates and most of all the crisis of several exchanges especially the last one FTX had a huge impact on this world and we can see it um, we can see it uh, for instance, I said the core scientific has 1 billion to 10 billion assets and liabilities. Other, other, um, other companies involved in mining as troubles such as Riot, Riot Blockchain and Marathon Digital had uh, shed more than 80% this year. So this sector is uh, definitely in crisis right now. Also, I want to share this interesting blog post. Uh, in this blog post, uh, the interviewer uh, asked to several experts to talk about the future of crypto market, especially in the 2023. There will be ever a market rebound in cryptocurrency. Let's find out what they say. So the interest said that of course aggressive monetary policies by central banks, a dramatic collapse of digital coins as well as FTX, BlockFi and so on causes, causes what we are seeing the major plant in all the crypto market. Bitcoin prices stumbled 75% from 69,000 to 17,000 dollars. Ethereum as well lost uh, roughly 70% of market capitalization from $4,900 in November 2021 to $1,200 right now. So, um, Pani Targoval, uh, the founder of CoinX, says that even though crypto markets have had a rough year, doesn't mean that the industry itself and doesn't have a promising future. 
So it points out especially on the decentralized finance sector, which is the core value of, uh, of uh, a future hypothetical development of uh, cryptocurrencies in the uh, actual finance market. Another interviewer, uh, Shivan Takral, CEO by, by Ucoin, says that we need to create a global consensus around the regulatory framework for digital assets. So, of course, this is due to the FTX collapse uh, causes a huge uh, panic among regulators. So they need to regulate, they need to introduce a regulatory framework for, um, for making this market more stable, more transparent. Of course, this is positive, but can be even negative from a certain point of view. Inflation will be and will remain, of course, the key factor in 2023. And so even the crypto market will follow, will come along these uh, inflection, inflation dates. Also, Tarusha Mittal, the CEO and co-founder of Dubs and Uniform, says that companies that don't have strong fundam fundamentals, strong investment will be flushed out. That's important to point out this. Only real business model will thrive. We can see that FTX was actually a good business model, had a good cash flow. The problem of FTX was the founders, was people behind this company who caused uh, due to lack of uh, caring, lack of controls, poor, poor management guidance and much more cause what happened, the bankruptcy of the second most uh, important exchange in the crypto world. But the exchange uh, business model itself is really it's really good. So, of course, strong foundations, strong investments has to be the core of all the exchanges and uh, safe platforms from so on. So this is definitely important that real business models will survive in this winter time. Another, <clears throat> another interviewer says that global inflation creates selling pressure across crypto assets. And Bitcoin, I want to underline this, uh, remain highly resilient digital asset throughout the years, 100% decentralized. So this is uh, important to underline that Bitcoin remains the core of the crypto, of the crypto, of all the crypto assets due to its unique nature and uh, decentralization that only this asset can guarantee 100%. Another, uh, another um, article I found um, is, uh, is negative from this point of view because the most common attack towards crypto, crypto ecosystem is the environment impact that has. So um, it says that this uh, um, the blogger Emma Lauterbach, which is from uh, Earth Institute at Columbia University, says that uncertainty plugging on the crypto world is obviously devastating for investors and finance fanatics, but could have actually have a silver lining. What is the silver lining? Of course, the positive impact of greenhouse gas emissions, the future digital currency. So this crypto crash basically says that is positive for the environment because of less crypto crypto mining companies such as Car Scientific will uh, keep mining and uh, will keep producing pollution towards the environment. So this is positive for the environment. Blockchain mining is energetically costly, time consuming, only occasional rewarding, she says. Requires messy computers, cooling system, motherboards, which takes enormous amount of energy, especially from fossil fuels. Also, it says that the report of the White House says that cryptocurrency mining accounts for one, 140 billion metrics 
tons of uh, CO2 per year released in the atmosphere, so 0.3% of all the global emissions of greenhouse gas. So this is a, uh, this is a concrete report about the cryptocurrency mining uh, emissions but not only crypto mining of course is involved in this uh, environment pollution you can even say that she says of course that pre-existing monetary options are not without fault us alone prints billions of cash requiring immense amount of water and electricity even major banks invest uh, our money in the fossil fuel industry so of course we can say that this 0.3% of global pollution is the real is the real cause is the real factor of the climate crisis so of course we can say this and also says that new york became the first state to ban crypto mining as well as ethereum uh, endorsement to ethereum which says that switch to more eco-friendly mining strategy becoming proof of work so um, um, sorry proof of stake this change could lower its carbon emission by 99 percent in the next few years so of course ethereum became a more uh, eco-friendly solution but that's not necessarily mean that bitcoin uh, should be banned because it's uh, it's not eco-friendly like ethereum so we want to want to leave you with a quick overview of the market today. Mm, today it's pretty stable. The price of Bitcoin is is in this keep keep going around this area around seventy thousand dollars. So as Ethereum and the main main coins like such as BNB, Solana, and so on. So today it's quite stable. Thank you for watching, uh, subscribe to my channel, press the like button for more news about the crypto worlds.